You and I talked about this about four or five years ago. The league has gone completely to pace and space, and the Pacers are there. Five Pacers starters are Tyrese Halliburton. We talked about it not being down low. He was down low on that play. Uh, so I, it looks as though they want to take some advantage of the fact that he can get some things going. The guy, I mean, as good as you, you, when you look at the game. Rozier up off the glass and a rebound by Duarte. That shot was a, a, a missed shot because Miles was standing there and Rozier could see it. And what a pass by Halliburton to Turner. Good scoring ability as well. And when you're talking about things he has to get better at, defense will be one. This is a good matchup for Halliburton because, as I said, LaMelo Ball is, is a tough matchup. Ladies, that when you don't throw the pass when it needs to be there, it throws your timing off. And Rozier and the Hornets have a two-point lead. This year, the, the thing that and I talked to some people at Charlotte, what they were very much interested in is whether or not they could get guys to play defense. Clifford will get to do that. You can't turn it over. And that's why he, he, he virtually went to his left hand because it was so bad it, it felt like it couldn't make a whole lot of difference. Oh, what a drive by Smith. And got fouled. Jalen Smith. That's Plumlee. Good, really get the ball up early because Charlotte was late getting back. And Again, he had 27 in his NBA debut a year ago in the regular season. It was opening night. Duarte again, two more. These teams will play three times in the regular season as Oubre fills it up from three. Backcourt of McConnell and Matherin along with Neesmith. Yeah, because, well, you got guys that know what, what they're doing, as you can see right there, getting to the getting to go there. When he went to the academy, he met Adam Silver, and he said, one day I'm going to be in the NBA. And he reminded him when he went up to meet him when he was picked by Indiana. And Adam Silver said, hey, I remember you. Pacers have an 11-point lead, 25-14. They've limited Charlotte to 32% and one of seven from three before that. They have Boston again on Friday. That will be in Greensboro. Matherin inside, lays it in, count it, and a chance for three. And with Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd, they won a title back in 2011. McConnell. Tough shot going left. Oh, he traveled. Allows the, the first unit to stay on the uh, bench longer. Nice little pop-in jumper by Turner. He's on a two-way contract with the Hornets. Got to come turn the corner. Wow. <laughs> like, and it's easy. Uh, probably about five or six minutes in the first quarter, so they're able to get some consistent minutes. And Heald hits Indiana's first three. Halliburton and Neesmith. And now you've added this year Matherin. We've not even seen Andrew Nemhard yet. I mean, that's some, that's some really good youth as you're building. You know, you hope all these guys, you know, do well and, and stay. But it, it, the nature of it, oh, what a heck of a runner there. Long rebound out to Halliburton. <laughs> I mean, he missed that one badly, too. Oh. Great five. Great no-look pass to Jalen Smith from Halliburton. Frankly, we talked about that for two, two years. But, you know, things have to are done in time, and it's been done. P.J. Washington, corner three. Late pass. He got, I thought he got bumped there a little bit. Running Plumley, And he laid it in. Second year. Former assistant, head coach of the Atlanta Hawks. And that's LaMelo Ball. Effectively there. And he's trying to make sure he can run with it. But he healed his second basket. That is a point of emphasis. Charlotte shooting just 30%. Pacers at 42. Mm. That's a cross-court pass. And Oubre finishes. I'll tell you what, there have been a lot of guys play good, but Miles has. I mean, he's, he's done a little bit of everything. Pacers on a four-on-two break. Oh, yeah. See, passing makes all the difference in the world. Pacers by 19, final 30 seconds of the first half. Oubre. Jackson, Smith, Heald, Halliburton, and Duarte, the five. So Miles Turner will start. There's the alley oop, and that's Jackson throwing it down. Well, that's the way you can play when Jackson's in the game. First field goal for Jackson. He had three fouls in the first half. 
In the corner, Rozier. Duarte with a left hand. Washington short, healed on the move. And there's two more in the paint. Another thing I think you see this team can do, and Halliburton has shown that. Really pass. good pass. You said this earlier. Wow. Four lead changes, four ties in the first quarter. And that's knocked out of there. Observation for the coaches here. You've got this substantial lead. Again, that's the regular season. This is the preseason, but... There is a history there. Plumley inside has made it an 11 point game. And Rick took a timeout. Stop and go by Ball. And Lamento Ball has his first. I know Rick, I could almost hear Rick Carlisle say, move the ball. Halliburton for three, got it. Exactly why they didn't play at the other teams. Naismith is really, Naismith, I should say, is really pretty obvious. He just played on a team that he couldn't play. They were able to, to get Halliburton um, because as Jackson gets that finish, I just think it's Sacramento more than I like Halliburton. Oh, no. And again, contract situation. Again, you control him. Look, that's tipped. Ah. Tipped again and in by Jackson. Having a quarter. That's what you have to do. This is this is that's leadership in its own oh, way. Oh, with a left hand. Yeah, that's leadership in its own way. What he did was the Pacers have been going back and forth with the Hornets. But they think that. I think it should be. Yeah. Because you, you you stop the action, but I see I understand why they did it the other way. And they do that with no rules. Neesmith in double figures. He has 11, one of four. Trying for his second three and hit it. Because I don't think there's any question really hands by Brown. And here he goes. Neesmith puts it down. But Brown did a nice job of the defense speaking up for, you know, equality. Um, just, just standing up as a real man. I'm telling you, he was a very smart guy. Man, I've been around. And McConnell. Because they're both tenacious. And a bucket by Terry Rozier. That's a, a rare three. You know, he, you know, you, you can talk about, you know, the black belts and all that, but they, they, they want to make sure. Ooh. They throw that to Thor. Yep. Yeah. Played at St. Joseph's. Yeah, stays late. The big deal to is important to him. Brissett gets a steal. And on the baseline, that's Crutcher with his second field goal. Pacers with a dominant preseason performance. Brissett for three. Count the basket and a chance for four. The Pacers lead most of the way. We had four ties, four lead changes early. Pacers had a 10-point lead after a quarter by as many as 23 in the second, by as many as 27 in the third. And Quinn, the Pacers win it by 25, 122-97.